Hello Leos, this is your reading for the 7th through the 8th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please visit the website first at pinkarianjim.com. If you have any issues there, you're more than welcome to email me at allforone.1forall74 at gmail. Alright, so let's see what's going on for you guys today. We have the Queen of Cups. I feel like there's somebody that you guys are... Um, you're in love with I feel like they're in love with you too um, I feel like this person's very giving very caring um, emotionally stable I think they have a lot to offer and you know this whoever this is for you okay cancer energy there maybe this person has offered something to you did you guys accept let's see hmm no I feel like there's something that you're still unsure about. You're still thinking about this individual. You're weighing, um, you're weighing not your options, but I think you're still not sure if this is a person that you want to be with. Um, even though you see them as this Queen of Cups, a very stable energy, very intuitive, very caring, very nurturing energy, but you're still unsure about them. You still have to think about this, is what I'm getting. This Libra energy. You're thinking about them. Maybe there's somebody else that is in the picture as well. Let's see. Six of Wands. That's your card there. Maybe there's something that you are striving towards. Something that you're trying to gain. Um... And, and I'm thinking this is all about yourself, not someone else, not involving anyone else. There's something that you're striving towards. I'm getting that you want recognition from some someone, something, for something. Um, you want to be successful. Also, what I'm getting here is that some of you don't have the don't have the confidence that that this can work out. Maybe you feel like it won't be successful with this person for whatever reason, but we're going to get some clarifiers here. Let's see what's going under the Queen of Cups. The Four of Wands. This person may be um, Cancer, have Aries in their chart. Very st stable. Um, I feel like this person already has a family. I feel like their home life is pretty good. They're 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 happy for the most part, and I see that. This is somebody I feel like you guys may have a kid with. Um, you may have lived with them at one point in time, but you definitely see this person as somebody that's stable, loving. They have a loving home. Um, you know, they may have a lot going for them, whoever this individual is. Let's see why you are indecisive here with this Two of Swords energy. Hmm. Page of Swords. There's still a lot you're trying to figure out. Not saying a whole lot. I feel like because a page doesn't speak a whole lot. Um, they will speak, but I don't think that is anything that is um, in depth, you know, with the page. There's something you're trying to figure out. Hmm. Or something you're trying to work out. Maybe you need to observe them a little more, whatever that means. You need to see more in order to make a decision. You have to figure something out. Six of Wands. It's a Ten of Cups. For a lot of you guys, I feel like 
you definitely want this happy home. You want somebody that you can vibe with um, emotionally so you can have that ultimate fulfillment in a relationship, okay? This is what this is. The Ten of Cups is like the ultimate happiness. Um, you want to be sure. You want to be confident that you can have this. And maybe you guys are involved in a relationship right now where you feel like you're happy and you're not really trying to rock the boat. So, you know, there, there's something you're trying to figure out here. And I feel like you're in two minds about it with the two of swords energy. Like you're not sure. You're still trying to figure out if, if this connection is going to be one that is good for you. Because I feel like one is, one may be like, the home life is very stable. Um, they have a happy home life, but with something else, you know, you, the emotions are involved here. Um, you're happy here and you're not really trying to rock the boat is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. That's Pisces and energy there. Let's see what's coming towards you guys energetically. What's coming towards Leo? The Three of Pentacles. Working with someone, compromising with someone, building on something here. Capricorn energy. And the Page of Wands. So what this is telling me with the page of wands facing away from the three of pentacles, there's somebody that you're not wanting to work with. Okay. Somebody that you're not wanting to work with, um, that you're not interested in working with. Um, and I'm getting strongly that you're going towards someone with maybe earth and fire in their chart. And you're kind of leaving away from um, the Aries cancer individual, and maybe there's a Capricorn Piscean, or maybe Leo, like yourself, individual that you guys are, um, are going towards. But I still see this level of unsurety in you. Okay about exactly what it is that you want to do. Let's see why this individual, why this happening here. There's also someone I feel like wanted to work with you that's like pumping the brakes a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Let's see why this is happening. And we have a five of wands. You guys don't see eye to eye. There's not a willingness to work together. And the Knight of Wands here. Um, either another fire sign like you guys, maybe Sag, Leo, could be an Aries. Um, somebody has left the situation and um, has not put in the, the effort to try to figure things out. Um, Somebody just decided to vacate, leave. Either they left physically or they just, um, you know, separated themselves from the situation, okay? So, again, we have Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, and Cancer here. Okay, guys? So, that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.